so it's the new year and everyone is talking goals, which is understandable because 2020 was literal trash, so we're all ready to start anew. So let's talk about how we can start to set ourselves up for more success in 2021. Hey friends, welcome back to this channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel. I'm a wellness entrepreneur, wellness coach, as well as a content creator based in Los Angeles. You can expect to find topics around how you can stress less, live life with more ease, more harmony, so that you can live the healthiest version of you. If you wanna succeed, first of all, we're not in 2020, so you have already won, but if you wanna take it a step further, you have to set goals because goals have action behind them. With a goal, you have clear direction and focus in how you want your life to unfold. Oftentimes, life can feel like we're on this hamster wheel where we're just going, 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 producing more, doing more, just being so results oriented. It can be really overwhelming and stressful. So it's really important to take a step back and take a pause to really assess where you're going, what is the intent, and what is your why. To make change in your life, you need to change. So goals definitely provide us that baseline of where you are now and where you would like to go in the future. You might be like, ah, there's so much that I have to do. There's so many things that I want to accomplish and it can already feel really overwhelming before you even start. Trust me, I get that. I have been really open with having anxiety and I've talked about it on my blog, on my newsletter, on my Instagram. And it's something that I feel like we need to talk more about because I think more and more people are experiencing this feeling of overwhelm, which can lead to anxiety. So before even sitting down to think about your goals and to map everything out for the year, let's ground ourselves. One way for me to become more centered and grounded is moving my body. Moving around shifts my energy and it gets me to clear my thoughts. I know I do some of my best thinking when I'm on a walk or when I'm doing an online workout of some kind. I definitely have some podcasts that I listen to on my walks as well. I also oftentimes turn to journaling, which I find to be super useful when thinking about my goals. Here are a couple of prompts that help me clear my mind space when I think about my goals. Envision your life in one month three months or whatever time frame that works for you. Describe it in detail in all aspects of your life. What do your relationships look like? What does your career look like? What does your self-care practice look like? Write out all the details that come to you. What does success look like? How do I personally define success? How will I know that I've quote unquote made it? And the last prompt that I have is what is holding you back? I know that's a big question, but this is why it's important to create the space for yourself to reflect. Oftentimes when we think about what's holding us back, we can dig deep into what some of our limiting beliefs are. It's important to acknowledge what some of the inner critic voices are telling you so that you can start to heal them. Now that you have a general idea of what you want your one month, three month, six month, whatever time frame month looks like for you, now let's actually talk about how you can create action behind these goals. So now let's talk about SMART goals. SMART goals stand for specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, time bound. It's one thing to have a goal to say, I want to eat healthy, but it's an entirely different goal when you actually put action behind it and there's meaning behind it by creating a SMART goal. So perhaps if you want to eat healthy, you can take a look at what that actually means to you. Does that mean cutting any specific foods out? Does that mean eating more specific foods that are green, that are colorful? Does it mean grocery shopping on a regular basis? Does it mean less Postmates and food delivery and more cooking at home, what exactly does eating healthy mean to you and put a time around it. And what's super important, especially when you think about something around food and fitness and things like that, start holding yourself accountable. So what's really important when we think about goals is not only making them smart goals and creating accountability behind them, but also going back to your why. Why is it that you want to eat healthy or why is it that you want to do whatever that goal is for your life. Going back to your why is going to give you that extra oomph of motivation when you're feeling lost, when you're feeling overwhelmed, when you're feeling like you don't remember why it is that you wanted to create this goal to begin with. So for example, there's an exercise that I learned about recently from Dean 
something. I'm going to put this in the caption, um, but I recently heard this and I thought it was so impactful when I tried this on myself and it's called seven layers deep of why. Sometimes it might not necessarily take seven layers, but you will get the point as you um, continue down this exercise. So when I think about a specific goal around, I want to eat more greens in a day. Well, you ask yourself why? Why do you want to eat more greens in a day? And that answer is, or could be, I want to be healthy and I want to live life. Well, why is being healthy so important to you? And you can go in layer by layer by layer. So it gets super deep when you actually consistently ask yourself why to drill down to the actual root reason on why a specific goal is important to you. So I do urge you to try to look at your goals in a different lens, look at all the different layers, look past the surface to see why exactly this goal in specific is super important to you. So hopefully that exercise helps you. I know that it helped me a lot gain a bit more clarity, especially as I think about um, growing my community at You Are Here and um, figuring out exactly why I'm setting specific goals and what's the ultimate purpose. And it does go back to your core values, your mission, the root of yourself. So hopefully this information in the video gave you a little bit of a framework to start thinking about how you can set achievable goals for yourself. And always remember to drill down to your why, especially in those moments when you feel like you're lacking in motivation and unsure of why this goal actually means anything to you. Let me know in the comments below if you try the why exercise, if you set up your SMART goals, if you have someone who can hold you accountable. I know I mentioned a few journal prompts earlier in this video, but if you are new to journaling, I recommend checking out my video on how to start journaling so that you have a bit of a baseline on how and why it's so important. That's all for me. I will see you next week. Bye.